a passing out parade of Royal Armoured Corps and Reconnaissance Corps cadets at Sandhurst. Vice Admiral Lord Louis Mountbatten, Chief of Combined Operations, takes the salute. The ceremony makes a fine spectacle. A new wartime departure from the traditional awarding of swords is the placing of Sam Brown belts of honor on the best cadets graduating out of the Royal Military College. Lord Louis Mountbatten now addresses the new officers. I understand that it is the custom of the visiting officer to address some remarks to those officers who've just got their commission. But as it's less than a year since I got my own commission in the army, I will refrain from giving them any military advice. If I might say one word about combined operations, if any of you go out and buy a sixpenny atlas and look at a map of the world, you will find that after we have cleared the Axis forces out of Tunisia, there is nowhere else that any of us soldiers can go and fight unless we're taken there by a seaborne expedition, unless, in fact, we carry out a combined operation of the Army, the Navy, and the Air Force. No prospect whatever exists of military fighting in this war. Now Lord Louis recounts an amusing true story. It concerns the first U-boat to be sunk by an American destroyer. The captain of the destroyer was pardonably proud. He made a signal to the British admiral under whom he was working, saying, have, young, have sunk U-boat in 47, 40 north, 37, 30 west. Where am I? Well, the Admiral got the signal and scratched his head and said, where am I? I suppose he's in 47, 40 north, 37, 30 west. Where the hell does he think he is? However, he sent for the American Naval Liaison Officer to come and interpret the signal. The Liaison Officer took the signal and read it and said, has sunk you boat in 47, 40 north, 37, 30 west? Where am I? Why, he said, Admiral, the answer's easy, top of the class. <laughs> 